Hi everyone and welcome to another episode. Hey, what are you doing? I thought you might want some music in your YouTube video. If I want music in my YouTube video, I'll do it myself. Besides, you're going to get us kicked off for copyright infringement or something. That's Michael Jackson's Beat It. Now, hear me out. Hear me out. I thought of that. So we change the lyrics and we change the name. Instead of Beat It, it's Bait It. Get it? Bait It? No. Okay, okay. How about this? You know that band Metallica? Yes, I know Metallica. You know that song Master of Puppets? How about we use that, but we change the name to Master of Baiters? Stop! Get out of here, dude. Whatever, man. I'm gonna be in your stupid YouTube video anyway. I'm going home. Thank you. So a friend of the channel in the UK, his name's Luke, he saw my Minecraft jig heads on the Facebook page and he said, hey man, how much are these things? I'd like to buy some. I said, you know what, man? I had some Minecraft eyes already made and I wanted to do a video on how I make these jig heads anyway. So I'll tell you what, I'll do the video, I'll make the jig heads and I'll send them to you free of charge. And if you catch something with them, you just send us a picture and that's payment enough. So today we're gonna make some jig heads we're gonna make them cool looking. We're gonna make Luke's Minecraft jig heads and I'm gonna show you how it's done. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take some jig heads that I purchased and we are going to put those in a vise and flatten them out. And I'll show you what I mean here in just a second. I use Spro jig heads. This is a Swedish company. I like them. Uh, they use Gamakatsu hooks and that's just a bonus, a plus for me. Um, and the lead is quality. So a lot of times when you're doing this, if you do this with um, uh, cheaper jig heads, the lead will tend to break as you squeeze it in the vise and kind of split and that's just nasty and, and doesn't work for this purpose. So these guys work great for it. So these are the ones I recommend. Use what you want to use, but these are awesome. So let's get to the vise and do it. So I'm just going to take the jig head here and I'm going to clamp it in the vise, making sure that it is upright and straight. Take a look. That looks pretty straight. So I'm just going to clamp it down. Pull it back out, and if you've done this hundreds of times like I have, then you know about how much to clamp it for uh, the size of eye you're using. I'm using 10 millimeter here. That looks pretty darn good for a 10 millimeter eye. Let's do one more. Make sure it's straight, and then clamp it. Looks good. Clamp it down. One more eye test. There we go. Let's go paint these things. Okay, so I put a base coat of white on here already. I've got several of them already base coated with white. I'll normally start with a white base coat. That's just uh, what I like to use because it contrasts well with most colors. So I'll start with white. Um, unless it's going to be a black jig head, sometimes um, I'll just use, go ahead and do black. This time I used white um, on all of them just because I wanted to use the rest of my paint that was in the brush. So got white on all of them. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start with black. Because these Minecraft jig heads we're going to do for Luke, we want those to be black. I got a lot of splatter going on. There we go. So we want these to be black. I'm going to try to hug the camera here as I'm doing this. And the key is just to build up the layers. Oops, that was a little too much. And sometimes what I'll do is, uh, and to be honest with you, spraying too much on these jig heads makes absolutely no difference. This is not, a, not going to be an elegant, nicely painted bait or anything like that. Just getting it to the color you need it does the job. So that 
looks good. So I switched to voiceover because it sounded like I was underwater or something when I was behind the camera. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue everything like this. The first thing I'm going to do is paint some shading around the eyes. I'm just going to use white to do that. And this base shading will be the base for what we're going to do for the rest of the pattern later. Now I'm going to do some more shading, but this time with fluorescent green. This is going to make this thing light up underwater. This stuff is UV active, so it glows really well in dark environments underwater. Now on to some opaque black to start the detailing. 